Hello world. I'm a faithful philosopher. I won't give you my real name. If you don't mind. Now, the title of this YouTube video is going to be something like um, The Warning. The 2012 Warning, I suppose. Um, I think I finally figured out what the hell is going on. As uh, for years, as far as I can remember, I've been trying to work out the world. And there have been many steps along the way where I've thought, this is it. This is the answer. And, uh, but as soon as I thought that, I would think other things and realise that, no, no, I haven't quite cracked it yet. But I've been getting closer. Certainly been getting closer. Now this might be quite a long video, I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take me to speak. But I don't want to throw it all out there, I, I really want people to understand it properly. So I'm going to go the long way around, sorry about that. I will try and do some editing to cut out blanks and bits and bobs. Okay, when I think back to when I was a child, a little five year old, I was pretty happy and uh, colours were vivid, life was good. Of course you'd have occasions when you weren't happy, you'd probably just cry your eyes out, scream, shout <laughs> until you were happy again. But as I'm now 35, I've noticed this sort of childhood qualities harder to attain. Now Jesus said we should be like children and I think I'm pretty much quite good on that anyway. I mean I play like a child, you know, if there's kids there playing, I love playing, play some football or something. I will play around. I'll go to the park with my kid and I will play around. I'll climb and jump around and stuff because, yeah, because I want to. It's good exercise and I like it. But still, the stresses and strains of life, at least that's what I thought was bringing me down. But I certainly did feel like something I'd been trying to cling on to, I was losing. And I would try and think what this was, you know, maybe because I smoke, maybe because I smoke cannabis. Drink too much tea. Might have been onto something then, but never what I thought. Okay. So, what changed? This is what I've come to the realization. I believe human beings around the world are being purposefully poisoned for. In many ways, actually. But I think what's been going on the longest is the fluoride poisoning. The blocking of our pineal gland. Or uh, the chakra behind our third eye. Or our third eye, as you may call it. And this pineal gland that... Um, releases endorphins and things that make us feel happy and excited and content. Um, yeah, I didn't come across this until about only a week ago. But straight away I thought this makes sense. And um, and uh, so I decided to uh, to try and go without sort of anything with too much fluoride in. 
Now I don't want to get too much into fluoride right at the moment, although I do aim to come back to this because <clears throat> there are many different forms. But what I've noticed over the last few days is uh, sort of almost not immediately, but well, yeah, I think I, I um, so right. I'm not going to drink any tap water because that was initially what I thought it just was in the tap water, and that's what I still think it is now. I think it's definitely something. To in the tap water but it's not just fluoride either there's other industrial wastes there which obviously don't have a good effect on you um yeah straight away the first night I had a really good night's sleep and I usually sleep well I don't usually have a problem sleeping at all um I never have a problem going to sleep because I always go to sleep when I'm absolutely knackered when it's two or three in the morning I love going to sleep but um well, I've noticed over this past few weeks I'm definitely sleeping deeper. Um, not always remembering my dreams because especially when you have deep dreams and you come out of it, it's too hard, you can't get your brain around what what you were dreaming. And um, But uh, yeah, I was having some deep dreams, I kind of sense that. And I've definitely been sleeping deeper because I'm not even <laughs> hearing my alarm. <laughs> And uh, that's that's not completely new to me. It used to be the case all the time. I wouldn't hear my alarm for ages. And I'd have to put things, bigger alarms on and everything. But, uh, yeah, so it's come back, basically. So sleeping a lot deeper, feeling a lot more refreshed when I wake up. And that's, that's one of the biggest differences, I think. You know, usually you wake up, you're all sort of stiff and... Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm waking up refreshed, and that is new. That's like a child, because I've noticed my son. You know, he can he can sleep, and especially on a school day. And as soon as he opens his eyes and realizes, you know, he's awake, he's he's awake. He gets up, and uh, you know, it's something I definitely lost. But um, so. No, of course, I mean, like this morning, I could have easily gone back to sleep. I mean, it's not that. It's just the sort of the the feeling, the, the groan, the effort to get out of bed. It seems to have gone a bit. So, stuff in the tap water, which is not good for us. Blocking our chakra. Making us more unhappy, more depressed. Why would they do this on purpose? Because they do want to block enlightenment. I haven't noticed any sort of major advances in me doing telepathy or anything like that in the last week. But as part of this, there was a, a another girl on YouTube, I forgot her name now, and uh, she's living in India, although she's Canadian. And she was doing this sort of little practice of sort of saying with your pineal gland, okay, so it's so it's been blocked. She said, it's, analogy is like putting glue on the hinges of a door. So you need to, even though you've, say, stopped taking in the fluoride that was um, putting glue on the hinges, you've still got to do a little bit of pushing on this door to free it. And uh, so it's doing bit of meditation exercises and I was definitely getting something. Was, the first time I felt a buzz sort of in between my eyes at the front there and I felt like I was <laughs> in that bit. The second time I did get like uh, you know imagine that you've got two eyes and you always when you look at someone usually not thinking about it but you've got a different view from the left and the right eye. The second time I did, I did really feel like I was actually looking right out the middle. It was quite quite cool, actually. Um, so, so yeah, I'm pushing this door with the glued hinges on. And uh, so I'll have to... It's, it hasn't been long enough for me to update you on that. But, um, yeah, to block our enlightenment is something that, you know, this whoever has got a hold over the human race whether they're human themselves or whether they're a bit different. Um, that's one. That's a good reason for them to do that. Um, because, you know, I do think we have got telepathy and I am feeling 
vibes um, you know I think I think it can spread I think enlightenment can spread you know euphoria and everything else like that can spread and what they want to spread is fear they want the they want people to fear uh, anything outside of society like when I've mentioned to people I'm drinking rain, rainwater boiled rainwater they're like wow isn't that dangerous and I'm actually now thinking, well, no, it's actually more dangerous to drink tap water. That's dangerous. Because you can't trust, you just can't trust them now. We've got a world that's overpopulated. And what's happened in the past, well, go back to 1666 and all that plague and everything, you know. Did they, were they able to spread plague? Was that a purposeful thing? Possible. What about um, Spanish flu? Was that done on purpose? In fact, I don't know about that. But I'm looking in today's world and I believe that there are plans in place to keep us cattle, to keep us dumb. And I also think and this is the the warning here. This is the warning. I think the keeping us dumb has been going on for a long time. Mainly with the tap water. Um, um, but now, in the last three years, they've been seeking to weaken our immune systems. We try and eat clean food in this country. Natural food. You can, I suppose, buy organic. Now, I've always looked at organic and gone, nah, I'm not paying extra for something, you know, leaving the leaves on the carrots. 